Do 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 do. Oh, there's a rupee. No, get right to me. Oh, dang it. What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD Visually Blind. Last episode, we learned a song, and then we started traveling the seas, and I kind of explained a lot about sea related stuff. <laughs> and we didn't really do too much in the last episode, admittedly. But this one, I hope to get to the island, the next island on our agenda, or our goal here, which, by the way, is, I don't like how this has always popped up. It's kind of really obnoxious. Is there a way to get rid of that? No, if I only press B to go back. That's kind of, that's, I don't really like that. No, can't press that. No, okay. So, as you can see, we have this out, and then we'll make it two in the spot. Oh, we did a little jump. Isn't that adorable? It is, indubitably. Alright, looks like our next island... Oh, yeah, it's going to be this one. Which means the island over there must be our destination, right? There is only one island per square. So if you're like, I don't know where this island is. Or you don't know like what the island for the square is. There will always only be one per section. Which is very weird that the world is formed like that. <laughs> but, you know. Um, oh, there's the fish right there. Yeah, okay. I wasn't too sure if I had to like get out of the ship or not. I guess let's go check out the bottle. Tingle will help from Windfall Island for, and Bash. I don't know what that crap means. Ooh, this island looks interesting. Alright, stop. Alright, he's coming up to us. Let's go. I, I wish there was. Is there a hot button to get this crap? Oh, there is. Okay, that's in, that, That's actually really helpful. Wow, okay, good to know. Um. We need baits, which we're already kind of running low on if I wasn't always... Well, actually, that's not true. We have quite a bit. We've already used, like, three. Yeah, one of them was for me being stupid and wasting it. But this is really the biggest use of bait in the game and why they're going to want it. Uh, I'm not going to read that crap again. Open up my seat chart. I have no idea what the sound is, actually. It is... Bomb Islands! Interesting. If only we had bombs. <laughs> is there bomb flowers on here? You gotta come sail on these seas on nights when the right half of moon of the moon is missing. It'll give you shivers, Fry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. Okay. Um, this is another one of those islands where you don't really get that very interesting information from. But I gotta say, what he's talking about there right now, if you know what he's talking about, that thing that he's talking about scared the living hell out of me as a kid like it was one of those moments where my like i saw the thing he was talking about my eyes just went like they bulge out of my head because it scared the crap out of me that bad uh what what, what would possibly scare me that bad in this really like non-scary looking game from no no in the private oasis toon link hashtag swag uh, well i guess you guys will have to wait and see cool i don't know what that is whoa let's take a look at this island real quick um, whoa! What the heck? W what is that? That that thing? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Well, that's not true. I do know. And those things are actually like unkillable walls, essentially. I see quite a bit of those in the game. There's no way to kill them, which is kind of poopy, but you know, nothing we could really do about it. Oh, that skull. Raising up from the ocean kind of scared me. Oh, did they just stay there forever? I thought they would go back down once I got far enough away. Ooh, pick it up. <laughs> I was like, yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, if only we had the power and strength to pick up large objects like an awful of time. Mm, okay, well, that's all that's really here. I'm not going to do this with every island. I guess, I guess what I'll do is the very first time I come to an island, I'll probably jump off, take a quick look at it, and then leave. Um, uh, should we go check out this tower? I almost feel like I shouldn't check out any of them up until... Hmm. It, uh, let's see. Because it's, it's going to be hard later on in the game when, like, I go to, like, specifically do all these towers. And then I'll find out, oh, I've done half of these, so it doesn't even matter. Oh, no, that's actually kind of... Hmm. But at the same time, I just don't want to skip them all. Whoa, what the heck? So you see those little barrels that are moving back and forth? Those are actually cannons, and they look really weird, and they're oddly, like, kind of creepily sentient. And yay, I love when the ocean does half the climbing work for me. 
Because it's a lot faster than actually climbing up. And yeah, those cannons can never knock you off. Hello! One of the bigger uses for the the uh, this thing is you could collect items off on enemies. And there's 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 not a very high chance of when you just kill these guys of them dropping um, joy pendants. However, if you use a grappling hook, each and every time you'll get... Uh, gra or you'll get a joy pendant from them and depending on the enemy you're fighting you'll get a different treasure So that's interesting. Uh, you can only get one per guy. So you can't like get like a million off of the same same guy um, Yeah, that'll help. We got a red rupee. Yay. So I guess let's get here Sometimes you do get items from these if you kill all the enemies and that includes these cannons We don't have a way to kill those cannons at this very moment though. So once again, we might actually come here later on and have to do that. See, I'm going to come here, maybe see that treasure chest, be like, Oh, we've dealt with this place before, and leave without killing those cannons. Because for all I know, there could be a there could be another treasure up there if we kill everything. So that's kind of unfortunate. I almost should have left that treasure chest there. But that, no, you know what? Because that would have bugged me for my entire life. <laughs> well, at least until we came back there about it. Again. What was in there? Alright, so it looks like we're coming up to these islands over here. This is our destination. And even though I didn't, I said there's only one island per square, well, I guess I'm being kind of proved wrong here. All of these two are kind of considered the same island, just different parts of them. They are, they're like the same island, I guess. <laughs> All right. Yes, do you not see where it rises from the horizon? No. This is where you must go, Link. The Forest Haven. Oh god, this music is very memorable to me as well. That is a giant freaking tree. It may appear as though this island, or this is but a great tree rising from above the ocean's surface. Yeah, see, it's a freaking tree. But it's a sacred place. It is inside this grotto that you will find the spirit of the earth, the, the great Deku tree. You must speak with the Deku tree and re receive from him the sacred gem known as Furore's Pearl. I feel like Ganon's vile hand may have already reached this place, this most, this most sacred of sanctuaries. <laughs> Go forth with caution, Link. <laughs> Yeah, right, I'm sure it's fine. Hey, look at Beetle Ship. It's right here. Look at his angry face on the side. I still don't understand why. Why? <laughs> it's so dumb. Um, uh, but first, let me take a selfie. Bam, bam. Hello? Hello? What? Why can't I go down? Are there balls? Did my game just explode or some crap? Okay. Hello? There we go. It wasn't letting me go on here. That's from Jane from Dragon Roost Island. Alright, he's just selling the same crap. I don't really care too much about. <laughs> Bye, Beetle. I was gonna walk in, not say a word, and then walk out. Yay. Ooh, look at that. Oh, man. This is gonna be so distracting, you guys. <laughs> okay, we're, I'll try my best not to collect too many and make it really terrible. George B. from Windfall Island says, I'm now in color. Yeah, interesting. Some of these pictures do appear in color and others do not. Oh, Beetle said, screw this guy. I'm going home. And now he's gone. <laughs> when Beetle does, like, go away on a ship, he's not leaving the island. He's just, um, he's just making, like, a loop around it. What the heck is that crazy thing? Whoa, holy crap. Hello? Ah! Oh, wow, they go through my shield. Interesting. Oh, yeah, I'm in hero mode. Well, I didn't expect to go through my shield, though. All right, here's another monster spoil we have yet to see. You got the Boko Baba Seed! <laughs> you can keep it in your spoils bag. This is the source of evil plants magic. Perhaps if you find someone who will cook it up, its magic can be unleashed. Okay, now, interestingly enough, you guys will see on the right, on the spoils tab, that just, well, I, that didn't pop up. Maybe it'll pop up now, just so I could, ex so I could explain better. What's going on? You'll see that there's no Boku Bab Baba seeds, even though it's a monster spoil in the game. The reason for that is that these don't really have that much of a purpose in this game. You could use them later on, but it's nothing that's really important slash needed to 100% the game. That's why they're not there. You can get as many as you want, and they do kind of help you, especially for me in hero mode. It will help me, maybe. And yeah, every time you kill these guys, the stock turns into a meat stick for some reason. I don't freaking understand why. Is it just a stick? Oh, it's just a normal stick. This entire time, I always thought these were like meat sticks. Like you see the bones coming on either side and like the center thing with the swirly on it was like the meat. 
Wow. I am shocked and appalled. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, you might get here and be like, how the heck do I get across? Well, guess what? There's a freaking branch with a bandage around it. Whoa, crap. Yeah, don't fall in the water, you upside down. What the heck is that thing? Uh, okay. <laughs> when you throw a rock at a bad guy, he floats up. Holy crap, I did not expect that. <laughs> he'll, he'll just float up and explode. Yeah, that was an octa rock. Bam! Yeah, I didn't care what that gave me. Doo -doo. <gasps> oh, are you kidding me? Oh, man. Okay, I'm back. Let's go down here without dying. Please. Whoa. That bush pushed me aside. Okay. Now, the whole point of this spot right here is absolutely nothing. I kind of came down here and thinking, oh, maybe they changed it for the... Oh, oh that's, that's okay. Was that in the original game? I don't feel like it was. Well, there's another piece of grass. Did it grow back? Whoa. That was scary. That was also scary. Oh, no. There's another piece of grass. Right? It's not growing back, right? Okay. I was going to say, that'd be weird. <laughs> yeah, it's weird that they have that specifically there, but it doesn't do anything. I always found that really strange. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Damn it! Our, this is not difficult. It's not a hard thing. I do got to say... One thing they added to this game that wasn't in the original is the ability to turn as you swing. In the last game, in the original game I should say, you always had to stop completely in mid-swing and um, readjust it from there after you stop. In this game you can just adjust it as, you, as you're swinging and that's freaking awesome. I love it very much. It is a nice upgrade. Oh, I was going to say, where, how do we go from here? I don't remember that, that stick up there. I just remember the one. Alright, I've always found it weird how, like, perfectly circular this little area is. Well, it's not perfectly circular, but it's so oddly, like, circular. I don't know why it's so weird to me. Yeah, right, here's the entrance to this weird giant tree thing. <laughs> it's the weird giant tree thing that leads us to trees that are growing inside of this giant tree thing. And look, it's another large tree thing! Yay! Ah, oh, this place is beautiful. Let me just listen to the music. It's really cool. I love it. All this, like, dust kind of stuff floating around here. It's like when you see a beam of light coming into your house and, like, you see all the dust in it, which I actually kind of think that's kind of a gross thing. <laughs> I'm talking of it as it's really beautiful, but just picture this. This is just all dust and it's all grossness. But that's okay. So, yeah, you gotta climb up the ledges here of the waterfalls and it's kind of strange, but. <laughs> I got so scared I threw bait. I'm gonna pull up my tails. Did I just did I just see that thing blink? No, it's not moving. It's like a freaking mola stat. That's so weird and creepy. It's so oddly human looking. Ugh, that tree always creeps me out. Um interesting plants over here. Kind of remind me of those plants that like grow, are those parasites that like infect ants and they grow out of their brains. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about? Or am I just being weird? Oh, these guys over here, they're pretty important. Oh, well, kind of. Not not really, if you don't care about 100%. Like, does he still go through the wall if you chase him into it? Oh, he doesn't. They fixed that. Good job, Nintendo. Those guys would always go into the wall and be stupid derp derps. And there's these little weird water things. Hey, what's up here? Hollow's Forest Potion Shop. Uh, what? Strange. Doesn't look like there's anyone home. All right, maybe we'll come back here in a bit. Um, hmm. Well, oh, we're back to where we started. Whoa, what? Huh. Yep, it's a dying tree. Oh no, it's acne. <laughs> I'm so offended by the acne. What the heck? The tree's moving! And he has a very scary voice. But how scary? How shitty must it be to be a tree that can't defend yourself? Oh, oh, you screamed. So, it's kind of hard to tell, but you gotta roll into the sky. And I mean, I've just failed to do it twice there. Whoa, 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 whoa. And, oh, yeah, these are green shoes. I don't think you've seen green shoes yet. Have you? Whoa, that slow down, doe. Alright, I wanna grab all this chew jelly. All the chew jelly, because I'm sure it'll be very useful. Alright, 
But remember here, I'm in hero mode. I can't really mess around too much. And yeah, these guys, if I could get it, can I get that? Oh, there we go. <laughs> you got green chew jelly. Keep it in your spoils bag. Inside green chews is a magical glut gelatinous essence, but it can't be used in its current form. What? Oh. Oh yeah, if you take too long and they go back on his face. Apparently these true jellies have the ability to teleport. Something other true jellies don't have in this game. And thank God for that. Oh, good luck. Okay, so, yeah. The difference between the red and the green is the greens are actually more powerful. They took two hits instead of one. Um, so yeah, that's really about it. Come on, give me, give me, give me. Oh, dang it. So I'm not gonna, I want a green chew jelly. Actually, the green chew jelly isn't that interesting to me. What? Um. Hello? I must apologize. I was an error. I saw your clothing, and suddenly I felt a longing for an age gone by. That longing caused the ancient language to... The ancient tongue to pass my lips. <laughs> I am the guardian spirit of this forest haven, the Deku Tree. I owe you my thanks for your aid in ridding me of those foul creatures. Tell me, was it not the King of Red Lions, the boat who speaks, who led you to this place? How did you know that? Your tree! You can't get out that often. So it is true. You, then you have come here because you have the need of the pearl of the goddess? Good lord, I butchered that. I see. I knew there was reason for reason the monsters had begun to congregate in the regions around my wood. Now I understand. Oh my god! <laughs> congregate in the regions around my wood. Well, around my wood, probably the title of this video. <laughs> you guys were sure. <laughs> Garden has returned. In that case, you must make haste. Crocs, little children of the woods, travelers, not your enemy. Let your hearts be at ease and show yourselves. Whoa, his face kind of tells him. Whoa! Thank God the acting didn't show up on these guys. Whoa, they're like tree people. And they have masks. Leaf masks. Whoa, they're good at jumping. Can you guys teach me how to jump? I would prefer it because I'll, maybe I won't fall on this freaking tree so many times. What do you call yourself? Link? Well then, Link. These are Koroks, the spirits of the forest. Once upon a time, long ago, the Koroks took on human forms. So when they came to live on the sea, they took these shapes. That is really interesting. I don't know. It's, it's really cool. Now they fear people. But to me, they will, ev they will ever be my cherished little children. That was a weird sentence. As it happens, you have come just in time for a ceremony that the Kor Koroks hold but once a year. Uh, it is about to begin. I shall grant the pearl to you once their ceremony is complete. I must apologize for the brief delay, but if the ceremony is not completed soon, an ill fate could befall us. So let it begin. Are you ready, my children? We are not. Oh, great Deku Tree. Something terrible has happened. It is Makar. Makar! What is the matter, Linder? What? You and Makar are always late. N no, it is not that, great Deku Tree. Makar, fell to the Forbidden Woods. Oh, great. What? The Forbidden Woods? I, I told him to be careful, but Makar flew above the Forbidden Woods as he drew close to it. Foolish little Makar. Link, you have heard all this? The Forbidden Woods are right beside the hollowed island of our forest, tr forest haven. Those woods. The whole region is a vile place that is home to evil beasts. And now it seems they have taken a child of the forest named Makar. Your presence here is no mistake, I deem. The King of Red Lions likely expects great deeds of you. It is why he brought you here. I am sorry to ask this of you, but can you go rescue young Makar for me? But Great Deku Tree, people cannot fly through the air. Ah, yes. Thank you, child. You are right. It is not possible to enter those woods from the sea, is it? Link, I would guess from your size that you are heavier than my Korok children. Yet, I think we may still be able to solve this dilemma. You must use the item I shall bestow upon you and fly through the skies. Uh-oh, here comes the pooping parts. Oh, that, those facial expressions actually look really cool. Oh, God. Oh, 
Oh, is it gonna glow? <laughs> there we go. Uh, that freaking glow is funny. Hmm. Forgive me, Link, but could you climb up to my crown and get the leaf from up there? That's not a crown. That's not the highest point of the tree. Let's face it. Oh, you know what? I need to go get a Hoi pair. Hey, all the crocs are down here now. Britain lives once close to our home. They were peaceful back then. I would guess that our home should still exist somewhere deep in, within these woods. If you have trouble somewhere in the forest, just look for stump-shaped houses. Yeah, those are actually in the Forbidden Woods, which is really cool. Do you know about this flower? It's called a Baba Bud. You could stand in front of it until... Oh, see, this wasn't here before. Baba Buds have this peculiar habit of shooting you up in the air after you jump into them, so you can use them to jump, jump up to hard-to-reach places. Really? Holy crap, that's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> and by dumb, I mean awesome, but in a stupid way. You get on this. Okay, you do just kind of. Okay, cool. <laughs> Is there any other Koreks to talk to here? Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to off the episode. I'm going to go get a Hoi pair or maybe a few. Whoa. What are you doing, dude? Wh what? Where did that leaf go? We Korok can fly through the sky using our own Deku leaves. We Koroks are very light. You look like you weigh a lot more than we do. Wow. Do you think it'll be all right? Uh, well, you call me fat, so probably not, first of all. Second of all, I hate you guys. We Koroks pass most of our days far away from our sacred haven, raising new trees to foster healthy forests on many islands of the Great Sea. Today is the day we return home for our annual ceremony. But poor Makar. Please, great swordsman, please help save my brother Makar. I wasn't enough the episode, but let's go in here real quick. See what's going on. <laughs> this guy with his freaking berry bushes. Hello, swordsman. You seem to be in high spirits. As for me, I'm the fruit of the forest to create portions. I'm using the fruit. I'm called Hollow. I wish I could create a potion that would help you, swordsman. But the ones I have here only seem to work with my fellow Koroks. I know. If you could somehow gain magic power, swordsman, then you could surely use a potion that could repolish it. Then, if I get the right ingredients, I might be able to help make a potion for you. Oh, but I haven't seen the ingredient that help recover magic power, power in this forest. I had seeds from the flower monsters of Forbidden Woods, and maybe I could help make a potion for you. Do you know about those seeds? Do you mean these seeds? By the way, here's our spoils bay. I haven't shown you guys this yet. Yeah. Okay, let's place that on X, I guess. Let's show them that. Maybe it could help us out a bit here. Oh, that's that's Boko Baba seed. That's it! That's why I need to make the super repellishing potion that would help you, swordsman. Alright, I'm gonna make- I'm gonna use four of your seeds to create a super replenishing potion- Oh, that was ten. Please wait a moment. That's awesome. Okay, you do need a bottle for this, so if you don't have a bottle, don't bother doing it. Oh, look, this is, What do you mean? Look at all those seeds on your wall right there! Don't even tell me you don't have any, you asshole! Wow! There's like ten there. Onjala manjala choway! <laughs> See, normally I wouldn't use this guy, but since we're in hero mode, it's probably a good idea. <laughs> so stupid. Haha, <laughs> -ha, it's ready. Here you go. Got a Holy crap, it's a blue potion. You got a blue potion. Uh, use it to replenish both life energy and magic power. Keep it in your bottle if, when you need it and stuff. Come see me again when you gather more seeds. I'll be waiting. <laughs> like, can I go through? Oh, can I not climb up there? All right. Ah, oh, look at this poster here. Oh, that's just the settle. See, the plant could sometimes will turn to a bokobaba seed, or sometimes will turn to a bubble bud. Bubble bud. Bubble 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 bud. Is there anything else in here? I feel like we won't be here very often, so I might as well take a look while we still can. What's in there? What? Oh, I was like, what's the camera doing? It looked like it was going to show me something. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. This episode's been way too long. If you guys enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, in between episodes, I'm going to go get mm, maybe two or three Hoi pairs just to be safe, since we will be doing something with them briefly here. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!